Welcome back. Let's take you back to our top story. Of course, the big news earlier today when the man, Eliud Kipchoge, went where no man has been before, breaking the two-hour barrier with a time of one hour, 59 minutes and 40.2 seconds. Well, earlier, we did get you reactions from both Uganda and Ethiopia. Let's now take you to Eldoret, the hometown of world record holder Eliud Kipchoge. The town was tense before erupting into unfettered celebrations on Saturday as thousands braved the early morning chill to watch their favorite son dare and eventually make history as the first man to complete a marathon in under two hours on a big screen. Here is CGTN's Beryl Oro with more. It's early morning in Kipsisio village in Nandi County at the home of Eliud Kipchoge, and one cannot fail to notice the tension. The dreamy and sleepy area had come alive with the home of Kipchoge's mother attracting a battery of local and international media. The ever prayerful Janet Rotich was confident her son would achieve the target set way before the race had started. I'm confident that he will do it because he told me he was going to do it. And how I know my son, he is a man of his word and always keeps his promises. So I believe he will do it. In the last attempt, he did well, so I have no doubt he will do it. If you don't begin well, From Kipchoge's mother's compound to the primary school the Olympic and World Marathon record holder attended, crowds were gathered in anticipation of one of their own daring and rewriting sporting history in the far foreign land of Vienna, Austria. But the biggest crowd was gathered in Eldoret town, the self-styled city of champions that stands as the biggest urban area of this conveyor belt of distance running. Businesses had been shut, major roads closed, as residents watched from big screens mounted in the middle of the town. As the split times for every kilometer were broadcast, the crowd cheers got louder and louder. And as the marathon world record holder got closer and closer to the finish, confidence grew among the audience. But the loudest cheer of them all came when Kipchoge crossed the finish line. I'm very happy for Kipchoge. I didn't really sleep at night. All I could remember was to come to Eldoret to watch as Kipchoge runs. But I'm very happy. I've seen the deputy president in Vienna. If I had money, I would have gone. Now I want him to come back so that we can celebrate at home. We will sing for him and sleep there and never go home. Uh, this is a great moment in Wasengishu. I consider it to be just the same as the day in 50 years ago exactly, when the first man landed on the moon. We are very excited and we are thrilled and it's inspiring not just us today, but going, it has inspired future generations to come. And as Eliud achieves immortality in athletics, the battle of the three neighboring counties to own him continued. We are up in the city of champions. This is the city of champions. Nandi is the home of champions and El Goyo Marakwet is the source of champions. Eldoret is the city and this is where everything goes on and this is now the athlete's home. As the star of Eliud Kipchoge rises, his history-defying achievements have shown the spotlight on his village of Kipsisia, Nandi, Eldoret and Kenya. And the residents hope he continues to catapult the tiny hamlet to the global stage. Beryl Oro, CGTN.